Hello, in this Visual Basic programming video, I am going to show you inheritance. Inheritance, you know, pretty much the name suggests it, something is inheriting from another thing. So think of it in the real world. You have a mom and dad, they, you know, produce a child, and the child has genes that they inherit from the mom and the dad. In, you know, biology, the genes are it's, it's a lot harder to predict which genes are going to be more dominant in coding the actual inheritance you know exactly how it's going to inherit so it is a little different in that part but in a way that's better because you can choose what you want to inherit okay so how would that be useful in the case of classes so let's have a look at this car class we got speed we got health we got owner got damage and we got some speed and whatnot all of this just looks to me like generic vehicle properties. Any vehicle will have speed. Any vehicle will have some sort of health. You can, it might not be called health depending on the context, but it's gonna have that. It's gonna have some owner. You, you could damage it, and you know you would you know construct it as well. So what we could do is abstract this into another class called vehicle. Our car class will inherit the vehicle class, and it can have its own properties. And let me just show you what I mean. So if I create a class called vehicle right there, and if I literally just grab hold of these, so I get these and I put them here. That's all good so far. That is fine. Just ignore that aspect. It's saying because it's not declared, and that's because we haven't actually inherited from it. To inherit, all you do is at the end of the class, you just put colon, inherits, and because it's the car class that is inheriting from the vehicle class, and then the name of the class that you're inheriting from the so vehicle. As you can see, these errors have disappeared. And if you look, everything else still seems okay. So if I run it, they run, and as you can see, everything is still running the way it did before. And that's because car has all of the properties that vehicle does. You could create another class, and I want you to do that as an extra task. I'm going to call it bicycle, for example, or maybe plane or motorbike, and inherit from it. But you can have unique properties just for, let's say, the car class by declaring them inside of the car class. So if I do public, and I do public, public, I'll, I'll do a sub, and I'll say, I'll just call this hello, just to keep it simple. I'll say hello car, and in here, I'll just do a console.write line, and I will just write the line, hello, I am a car. I'm also gonna change the final line, so I'll say this is the end for the car just so it's a little different. Okay, so vehicle, I mean car, will have the the function, or I should say sub, the method called hello car, which just prints out the console. If I were to create an object of the vehicle, I would not have access to any of these properties. If I was to create another class that I inherited from vehicle, I again would not have any properties of car, because vehicle, has no sort of you know linkage to car in terms of what it gets from it and neither would another class that inherits from vehicle but anything that inherits from vehicle has a linkage to vehicle as an extra task i want you to you know create another class inherit from vehicle have its own properties and just experiment so that's it for inheritance thanks for watching and i look forward to seeing you in the next programming video